Welcome to another edition of The Power of Words with me, your host, Kevin Treasure, author of The Power of Words The Winner's Mentality. Our aim is to help people win in life through the power of their words. You are born to win. Welcome to another edition of The Power of Words The Winner's Mentality with me, your host, Pastor Kevin Treasure, aka The Winner's Mentality, and you helping you win with your words i want to encourage someone there out there in podcast land youtube land wherever you're listening from this podcast you can win with your words but you've got to keep speaking the word of god and you've got to keep believing i i speak to so many people and some of us start good in the confession game i mean when we start to really grab hold of the word of god and realize that our life is ruled by words i'm going to say that again your life is ruled by words amen god created the world with the word amen god created the world with his words hebrews let me quickly join over to hebrews hebrews chapter 11 just so we're all on the same page i give honor to the holy spirit of god without whom i can do nothing and my assignment is to encourage someone to begin to speak life over every dead situation every situation that looks impossible where the doctor said it wouldn't happen and then when they said you're not going to get your stay or you cannot buy that house or you're not going to be able to fulfill that dream that vision listen keep believing the word of god keep the dream alive and the only way you're going to keep it alive by keep speaking it keep speaking it keep speaking it the bible says the bible says here we go in uh Hebrews 11, here we go, I believe it's verse 3, through faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God, so that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear, I'm going to say that again, through faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God, and that the things which are seen are not made of the things which do appear so we get to understand through the word of god that the world was framed and then it was set up it was framed put together constructed by the word of god everything you see it was framed by the word of god god spoke light be and there was light and the rivers part and let there rivers let there be animals let there be fish let there be all these things that we see the moon and the moon by night and the sun by day amen and the greater light the lesser light all these things were framed were come into existence by the word of god and then he said let us make man in our own image in our own likeness so that tells me we are created into the image of god so we're created to be just like god to operate just the way god operated and god did not do anything until he spoke it and if you look in your life you're going to see the things that you've achieved and the things that you have you didn't get any of it until you started to speak it and when someone doesn't just say i'm going to college someone makes up in their mind and speaks out of their mouth I am going to go to college even if it looks like it's not going to happen it looks like you're not going to have enough money you may not get a scholarship but you made up in your mind despite whatever hindrances or whatever obstacles that were standing in your way you said I'm going to college and somehow by a miracle you went to college you finished it you got your degree and then you got your masters you got your phd and you went to college but you spoke it first no one just gets married you thank you you obviously you get engaged and the question is popped and then you say i am getting married but you speak it first say i'm getting married and then you get the dress you get the you get the cake and you get everything ready and you hire the hall and you get the church and then you invite you get your invites out but you get everything ready why because what was conceived in the heart was spoken out of your mouth and what's spoken out of your mouth is now the vehicle that makes you begin to move in the direction of what you've been saying so you will move in the direction of what you are saying i'm going to say it again this is so profound you are going to move in the direction of what you have been saying i'm going to say that is positive or negative the bible says death and life are in the power of the tongue and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof proverbs 18 21 i believe 
So you've got to be careful. You're going to move in the direction of what you've been saying. And no one just gets up and say, I'm going to get divorced. You've been thinking it. You've been saying it. You, when people say, oh, I'm going to get a divorce. I, I'm going to divorce this lady. I'm going to divorce this man. It's because because they've started to put into motion the thing that's already conceived in their heart, spoke it out of their mouth. And we know that the world is framed by the word of God. And you're going to frame your world with your mouth. So you've got to be careful that you're not framing your world for evil. And you're not framing your word for evil things or bad things. The Bible says, and let me go, and before I go back to what our main scripture is, Psalms 34, I believe. I believe, and it's quoted again, I believe, in Peter, in the book of Peter. The Bible says in Psalms 34, it says, What man is he that would desire life and would love to see many days that he may see good? Let him keep his tongue from evil. And his lips from speaking guile. So he's saying, if you want to desire a good life, you want to desire a long life, that you may see good, you want to see good things, you want a long life, well, keep your tongue from evil and your lips from speaking guile. Because the psalmist knows if you keep, keep speaking evil, you're going to get evil. So you've got to be careful that you're not framing your word for evil, that you're framing your word for good. And many people say, well, I've been doing this confession thing, but I don't see what I've been saying. But are you just saying it or are you saying it and believing it? Because the Bible says, if you believe in your heart, what you believe, Mark 11, 23, 24, if you have faith and doubt not, you'll say to this mountain, you're going to say to this mountain, ends and be removed and be cast into the sea and it shall obey you. So you've got a faith filled words. And then there's some people that say, well, I'm going to start a business and they may not have any business acumen or they may not know a businessman, but they know you've got a gift and they know that, listen, God told me to start this business. There's business inside of me. I've had so much prophetic words and I believe now is the time to start the business and you're going to start to get the books and you, so you speak, I'm going to start a business. You go and look in company's house, you go and begin to register your business and you start to read about business, how it works, what you should do and we start to get the, the starting whatever it product is you're selling but you begin to speak where you're going listen every company that you see started small google amazon they all started as small companies but now they are big conglomerates they are massive companies world renowned companies earning billions okay and everybody's using them ebay paypal they all started as small companies but someone said i'm gonna start a business I mean, the, the guy for Amazon, he said, I'm going to sell books and I'm going to sell them online. And as simple as it looks, it is now selling everything and anything. But it started with one idea and one man saying, I'm going to sell books. What is it that you've made up your mind to do, but you haven't been saying it because you stopped believing it? I'm going to ask you again. What is it that you've stopped saying that you stopped believing because you stopped believing it, you stopped saying it? I'm going to say it again. When you stop believing, winners know when you stop believing it, you stop saying it. There's some people that used to confess all the time. Well, I'm going to make it. <clears throat> I'm going to make it as a singer. I've got songs that God has given me. I'm going to make it as a singer. And because you've put out songs, you put out songs and they've not really got the reception that you've hoped to have or the exposure. And now you've stopped believing and you may have gone back to a small job or you may have gone back to the job just to pay the mortgage, pay the bills because your dream hasn't taken off the way it should have. And you stop speaking about it. You've stopped, you've stopped believing it. So you stop speaking about it and eventually you stop doing it. But you've got to start believing again and you've got to start speaking again and then you start doing it happens in that very same order you've got to start believing again and as you start believing again you've got to start speaking again and as you start speaking again you'll start doing again you're going to move in the direction of the words that you've been speaking i'm going to say it again winners know that you will move in the direction of what you have been speaking so you've got to speak life you've got to speak positive words when abraham was old he was an old man 75 and god made him a promise he said you're going to be a father of many nations no child not a child in sight he's old his wife is old but the bible says that abraham believed god and it was accounted to him for righteousness he believed god and god said you're righteous not because of everything you've done but because you believe me and you believe me and the bible says against hope abraham believed he had hope in god even against hope he had hope he believed in god and even though him and Sarah was getting well up in age and through this time, God said, I'm changing your name. I'm calling you Abraham, your father of many nations. 
So now he's got to call himself father of many nations with no children. And he's calling his wife mother of many nations. And he's saying this every day. He's calling himself Abraham. And people are calling him Abraham. But you've got to remember, because God has changed his name. And God has changed his name. So not only is he calling himself that, others are calling him that. So you've got him, he calling himself Abraham, but more importantly, you've got other people calling him Abraham. You've got other people calling him father of nations. So when you get other people on board of what God has been saying to you, let me tell you something now, when you're speaking something and other people are saying something, listen, it's got to come to pass because God is saying, get ready. Listen, Abraham, get ready because you're a father of many nations. So I want you to start speaking like it, thinking like it and knowing it. And I want other people to know. Listen, so when people say Abraham, they say father of many nations. So so listen you got other people in line of what i am saying so when you get everybody in line of what i'm saying listen to me faith oh my god i can't believe this i just realized this listen god got abraham to call himself father of many nations but he got everybody around him to call him father of many nations i say to you reject every negative word that's been spoken against your life i'm gonna say it again reject every negative word that's been spoken against your life when people, even when I'm at work and people may say, oh, here comes trouble. I say, no, 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 I'm not trouble. And they may say in jest, but even in jest, I say, no, 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 no. I, I reject any words that, may, that align with devil, that align with evil, that align with wrongdoing. I am blessed. I am favored. Amen. Wherever I go, people are blessed. Wherever I go, breakthrough comes. Wherever I go, things happen. Miracles take place. So you've got to start speaking like that and you've got to start changing the way you speak. Because when you, you're speaking in a way though, listen, you know that when you speak, things will happen and you've got to be so conscious of the word, conscious of the words that you are speaking because you are framing your word and you've got to realize that you're framing your word for good or you're framing your word for evil. So Abraham decided this and I'm going to say what God says and I want you, we've got to believe and start speaking what God says and you may be here and you, you may find it difficult to have children and the doctors may have said there's some complication and you can't have this and you can't have children. I encourage you to believe the word of God. I've had too many miracles. I know too many people where the doctors have said they cannot have children or there's one person, they're, they're, they're a fallopian tube and totally been destroyed doctor said they're not going to have children i've had people i know will listen to all, all kinds of complications but listen to me they believe the word of god they stood on the word of god and their wife they had a baby they've got children some of these children are teenagers now and some of these children are big people but they believe the word of god and i want to encourage someone out there to keep believing the word of god you're framing your word world with the words that you speak so keep framing your world and if you may be saying well one day i'm gonna leave this job and start my own business you gotta keep speaking it listen if you can put it up put it up in your bathroom put it up in your kitchen put it up put it up in your bedroom put it up all over the place i'm i will have my own business i have my own business my business is successful you've got to put things visual so you can see it as frontlets before your eyes so you can begin speaking it and believing it and everywhere you go why do you think all these great companies and big companies, Coca-Cola, Pepsi, not that I'm advertising them, but why do you think all these great companies spend so much money on advertising? Why? Because they want to put their product in front of your eyes. But God is saying, put my word in front of my eyes because my words are in front of your eyes because my words are spirit and they are life and god is saying put my word in front of your eyes as frontlets before me so when you see my word spirit and life is being stirred up in you and you begin to move in the direction of what you're seeing so god is saying listen you may be single right now but you say god i think i'm going to marry the god-ordained person for my life or the god-ordained woman for my life you say god listen i may not be in the ministry right now i may not have the ministry that you promised me but i know you promised me there's ministry inside of me and i'm going to wait on you i'm going to listen to your voice i'm going to take your direction in the name of jesus there's a ministry for men there's a ministry for women some of you god has given you a ministry for young people there's ministry inside many of you that are listening to me and god is saying don't lose hope in me because you don't see it as yet and it may not look the way you think it should look or it may not be the size that you think it should be right now god is saying stay faithful to me keep your eyes on me don't look to the left don't look to the right don't look at what other people are doing listen to my voice follow my instruction take heed to what i am telling you stay focused stay grounded amen because i in time will enlarge you i in time will bless you and make your name great god is listen to me he's preparing you and he's preparing you each step of your way he's asking you just keep believing him keep speaking what he's told you keep speaking the word keep speaking the word keep speaking the word because you're framing your world 
with your word, with your words. See, your family may be dysfunctional at the moment and it may seem like, listen to me, your kids are wayward or your husband's not saved or your wife is not doing what she's supposed to do or, or just out of the will of God. But you keep speaking the word of God over your wife, over your husband. Keep speaking the word of God over your children, over your family. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. You keep speaking what God has told you. And man, you may not be driving right now and you're saying, God, I believe in you for a car. And man, make sure that everything you're doing is in line with God's word. And say, God, I thank you for the miracle. I thank you for the car. Any way you want to do it, God. Thank you. I bless you. Thank you. Listen to me. Keep framing your world with your words. So my business is blessed. I will get that job. Um, they're hiring today. And some people have said, without a doubt, shadow of a doubt, I'm going to work for this company. I don't know people that have given out CVs. Or we call them CVs over here. Or you may call it, um, I don't know what they call them in different parts of the world. That's where you just hand people your job experiences. And they've been calling this workplace and calling this company and they say no we haven't got no vacancies no we haven't got no vacancies and all you're hearing is no 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 but there's some people that are so persistent that they know that eventually they're going to get a yes and because why because they're persistent because they've seen themselves working in it they've seen themselves working for this company they've seen themselves in that uniform they've seen themselves in that office they've seen themselves doing and then what they've been believing and speaking and confessing so don't lose hope you're going to frame your world with your words. So make sure your words are faith-filled words, positive words, God's words. Amen. Don't speak sickness. Amen. When the flu comes around or you know it's winter and say, oh, I need to get my flu jab because I'm going to catch the flu. No, you will not catch the flu. Amen. Stop speaking life. Oh, one in four people have cancer. Oh, it's just going to be just my luck. No, you will not get cancer. You are healthy and wealthy. You keep speaking this over your life, over your body. I'm healthy and wealthy. Even when it feels like you're getting a sore throat or it feels like you've got sniffles. No, I reject any cold symptoms. I reject any flu symptoms. I'm healthy and wealthy. You're framing your world with your words. I live a long life. Moses was 120, his force was not abated, abated, neither was his eyes dim. I decree and I declare long life for me. In the name of Jesus, Caleb said, I'm as strong now as I was 40 years ago. So I declare like Caleb, in 40 years time, I'm going to be strong now as I was back then. Speak the word of God over your body, over your life, over your marriage. When things are not in line with God's word, speak God's word over it and keep speaking God's word. But here's the problem. Many people speak what they see. And if you speak what they what you see, you're going to keep having what you've got. I'm going to say it again. Many people keep speaking what they see. And if you keep speaking what you see, you'll continue to have what you've got. But when you begin to speak the word of God over your situation, then the situation must bow and must change to the word of God. So continue to believe the word of God. You will frame your world with your words. So let's begin to frame our world of the words. If you've been someone who's having difficulty in this situation, having difficulty with this problem, and you say, oh my God, I've been speaking negative all this time. It's okay, just repent. Say, God, I'm sorry. Help me to start speaking life. If you can, if you're one of those people, begin to write down some daily confessions. Begin to write down maybe a page or two of just confessions. And then if it's finances, Look for what God's word says about finances. Write them down. Speak them every morning. Every morning. Now you set yourself up. You set your day to start believing what God says about you. Amen. If it's health. Amen. Find scriptures on health and healing. Amen. If it's family. If it's finances. Whatever it is. And ministry. Whatever it is. Your assignment. Find those scriptures. Find the word of God. What God says about it. Amen. And start speaking it. Start speaking it. Start speaking it. And there'll be days when you're like, oh, nothing seems to be happening. Don't speak what you see because you will have what you say. So keep speaking God's word concerning your life. I have wisdom. I have the direction of God. I hear from heaven. Amen. I hear from heaven. Amen. I know the voice of God. I'm the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. I am blessed and highly favored. Amen. I thank you for revelation knowledge. Speak the word of God every day, every morning, every morning. And when it becomes practice now, before you know it, you won't even need this sheet of paper because you've got it so embedded in your system, in your spirit, that you know, this is what I say about myself. And this is what I believe about myself. And this is what my life consists of. So be encouraged, amen. You can frame your world with your words. This has been me, Kevin Treasure, aka The Winner's Mentality, helping you win 
with your words. Check out my website, www.kevintreasure.com. You can check me out on Facebook, amen, Instagram. Follow me, amen, but most importantly, follow Jesus because he's the way, he's the truth, and he's the life. My desire is just to point people to Christ Jesus. And if you don't know him, get to know him, amen. The Bible says if you confess with your heart the Lord Jesus and you believe, confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart, you shall be saved. Because with the heart man believes, in the mouth confession is made. So if you haven't made Jesus Lord over your life, just say the simple prayer of me. Heavenly Father, I come to you today. I'm asking you to forgive me of every sin that I've committed. Wash me in the blood of your son. Cleanse me from all iniquity. Write my name in the Lamb's book of life. Fill me with your Holy Spirit and use me for your glory. This I pray in Jesus' name. If you made that prayer, just write to me. Let me know. Amen. You can write to me. Uh, info at decisionsdeterminedestiny.com You can check me out. Drop me a line. Please let me know what God is doing in your life because God so badly wants to bless your life. You are blessed. God has done everything. He has done everything. Now he's depending upon us to work the word. Frame your world with the word of God. Be blessed in Jesus' name. Thank you for tuning in to the Power of Words, the Winner's Mentality. Please remember to subscribe to our podcast and leave a review. Check out our website, kevintreasure.com. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook. You are born to win.